pleasure of working with Juco and exhibiting her work since 2007. We're honored to have her back in the gallery for the reception of her latest body of work, the last course, Junko Mizuno's Food Obsession Number 4. But ultimately, we decided to have the paintings as the main course and to have the appetizers to sort of complement. First, let me thank you for coming for dressing up for this event. The theme for this show is basically just food is awesome. <laughs> so, we would like to reveal our first piece, salad. And to complement it, we have our first appetizer, a baby gem salad with seaweed flakes, sesame seeds, scallions, and cilantro with yuzu olive oil dressing. Uh, I wanted to make a salad themed painting because I recently got so much into salad for some reason. Maybe it's my age or something. I used to like cooked vegetables more before, but recently I can't stop eating raw vegetables. It is time to reveal our second piece, Oral Borals. To complement it, we have our roll chicken cordon bleu with Dijon cream sauce. Okay, so this is the first piece I finished. And some people think it's, it's creepy, scary, because they are eating their own body. But it's a symbol of you know, infinity. So I think it's perfect to make it. Like it is time for our third piece, soup. And to complement it, we have a watermelon gazpacho with heirloom tomato, cucumber, sweet bell peppers, mint, basil, garlic, sherry vinegar, garnished with shrimp. Soup is kind of like comfort food. I think for many Asian people, when I'm really tired, when I'm traveling, or after I drink, I feel like having Hot soup, you know, so it makes you feel relaxed. Alright, now to our fourth piece, meat. Um, and we are complementing this with beef slices, torched with yuzu, shallot dressing, and microgreens. This is kind of like my, my revenge piece. A couple of years ago, I was working with this company who makes merchandise and they wanted me wanted to make a tiny bag with my design on it. It was supposed to be on the front side of the bag. And I really liked her, but they didn't make it. So I, I like meat, but it's not that I eat it every day. It feels like a special energy source. I, I eat it when I'm really tired, for a special occasion, or when I'm really exhausted. After meat, we have our fifth piece, rice. We are serving rice onigiri with tuna and ume gomashio. You know what ume is? It's a Japanese pickled plum. It's bread. The meat flowers are supposed to be ume. salty and sour because it's supposed to keep the rice from, from going bad. Now it's time for our Final piece, jelly. To complement jelly, we have a champagne toast with champagne gummy bears with a star heart foil. And the extra treat is an apple crumble pie. And the image of the jelly I have in mind was it's very pretty, shiny, sparkly. They made out of advertisement of jelly with really fancy images. So I still have that kind of image. It's pretty. Thank you guys very much.